the manga adaptation of Super Dragon Ball Heroes Big Bang Mission is a different experience. Unlike in the manga, it doesn't rush to the next big thing and has reasonable dialogue and the fights are better paced. Art is becoming more and more original Dragon Ball in the action scenes. The also rarely relies on homages regarding up to move execution and lots of unique panels get drawn you wouldn't see in normal Dragon Ball manga, nor in Dragon Ball Super. Story is a sequel to Super Dragon Ball Heroes Universe mission and continues with Fuse next experiment. This time he wants to make his own universe. The energy of the 12 universes are used for that. It's up to Goku and Vegeta to team up with the time patrollers to stop Fu. As you would expect in Heroes, timelines get messed up and you will see a lot of old enemies getting involved who got a massive power up through the time rift, evil Saiyan aura, dark dragon balls, evil mask, etc. It is insane how powerful some of these enemies are. As this is a video game adaptation, power scaling can go out the window sometimes, kinda like in Dragon Ball Super, but at least it is somewhat excused. Stupid things like random old antagonist or villain appear out of nowhere should not be surprising. Compared to the anime, there is actual good dialogue between characters. For example, in the anime version, Freezer and Cooler didn't speak with each other, but in the manga we see them actually interact mid-fight. Some characters get interesting character development and not necessarily changing sides. They learn from their losses. The Crimson Mask Saiyan is an old enemy who moved through time to reach the pinnacle of his power. Some characters get new forms exclusive to heroes. And one of them being Vegeta who gets better treatment in this video game promotional manga and gets treated far more with far more respect than in Dragon Ball Super. Hearts is probably the best character. We see him how he works as an ally. His abilities not only allow him to predict movements but also roast the shit out of certain enemies and motivate his allies. Power ups in heroes are so so, but when it comes to impact or leaving an impression they do a good job. Regarding fan service, this is what we have. Freezer and Cooler team up, tra new transformations, Vegeta getting a buff while W, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku vs Builds God of Destruction, and another father song Kamehameha. Moko Jita and Vegito amounts other things. Criticism, some of the fights will fall short because of the limited promotion. But the most important ones are well done. There are some f one fights that didn't really need to exist because it involved characters nobody really cares about. Uh, overall the manga of heroes is good. The action is good and the importance of where to place fan service is actually done well. The characters have good uh, interactions and feel like real people unlike in the anime usually. It also sets up the next arc in the manga well, the Ultra God mission, definitely worth a read.